Clarence TV speaking to manager Robbie Simpson after a 5-0 FA Cup win here at Romford. Robbie, it looks easy at the end of the day, but that was anything but until the second half, really. Yeah, it, it, it was it was difficult to win the game. I, I don't think we were ever, ever worried about losing the game. It was just how we were going to win it uh, and break them down. We, we didn't know how... They could either have gone two ways about it today. They could have come at us and shown us no respect or they could sit in and, and show us a lot of respect and and they did the latter. Um, they, they tried to have a really slow tempo game um, which meant the ball was out of play a lot and when it was out of play a lot there was there was a long time between it not being in play. Um, and we, we did speak about that before the game that especially with the wind first half we we wanted a high tempo ball in play as much as possible and and they kind of did a job on us in that sense really we we were our own um, we played into our own downfall really a little bit with with how we played and the quality and um, we wanted to play in their half and when they set, when they set off it was it was a lot easier to play the simple pass but then that meant we were slow and lethargic with it and we didn't we didn't have the intensity that I desired in that first half and. We should have been one or two up in the first half still, um, but and I said to Spills on the bench actually, I said we just need a goal and then everyone will come alive and be buzzing and energetic and when it's nil nil and the game's slow like that, it is it's so easy just to fall into that lethargic one paced um, rhythm and so we mentioned that at half time and I think maybe going against the win second half maybe helped and the goal definitely helped us. Um, the goal was the one moment where it was it was just a quick bit of play, you know, one two touch forward running with intent, and we get the goal. And then once we got the first goal, I thought we were outstanding and what I wanted to see for the whole game. But we we scored some fabulous goals today, really well worked goals. And the subs came on and they seemed to um, hit the ground running all of them when they when they all came on. So it was um, a good afternoon at the end of the day. Yeah, and your first half we didn't do that much wrong. We still created a lot of chances, but it was just about getting that final killer instinct at the at the top end of the pitch. Yeah, and um, we were because we were taking maybe too many touches or too long on the ball. We were making mistakes. We were passing out of play and um, over hitting passes, and we just didn't look on the same page. We didn't look on the same wavelength, but. Once you quicken up your play, and I, I, one thing actually in the first half, I felt, thought we were really quiet for some reason. It was, you could hear, you could hear a pin drop <laughs> at, at times, and and the voices in the second half were, were much better, which meant we played better. It, it's just, it's so, the game is so much easier when you're talking, um, and and we were too quiet today. Um, but fair play to them, second half, they took a ball, we said at half time, and, and uh, it, it, it looks good scoreline at the end of the day. Yeah, I was going to come on to that. What, what did you say at half time? Because it was, uh, you know, it's a, a team we, we we should beat three leagues above them, then the senior league or national league side. So we sort of just try not to be sort of impatient and you know and and worry about it and all just come. Yeah, I think um, exactly that. Be patient, but but play with intent. Play forward, run forward, be sharp run fast and hard and they're sprinting behind it's sprint to get the ball even if it's just a little jerk off five five yards to get the ball it's just that kind of intent and tempo and and that's what we said at half time really our intensity just needs to come from like a day at the beach what, what it was in the first half to we're in the fa cup here and we need to we need to get through and um and that's all it was really and and they they got it in the end and the first goal came after the, the stop-start nature of the game, that three times taken yeah. free kick that we maybe sort of helped us because Romford maybe sort of um, lacked a bit of concentration at that time and, and Simeon and Cale pouncing it. Yeah, well, we were we were um, moaning at the ref for stopping the free kick. I think it got taken three or four times and we were really moaning at the ref because the first the first time we took it, we were, we were in and out the other side and we played quickly and that's another thing we said at half-time, like, get your hand on the ball and play, get the ball in play and <laughs> the ref kept bringing it back and then eventually like when we scored we all turned around and went yeah well done, <laughs> well done ref, great decisions, the ball was moving. So yeah it's funny and like I said it, we needed that goal and once once we got that goal 
we, we seemed to just, well, even before the goal, we were better, but we weren't quite at our levels. But then once we got that first goal, it just seemed that everything just fell into place. And Ade got himself a goal, but also good at the back, along with debutant Frankie Terry. Yeah, I thought it was a great debut for, for Frankie. Obviously, he wasn't tested too much defensively, and it'll be a lot different at Chesham next week, for example, that we now turn our focus to. Um, but I thought he was assured he'd never put a foot wrong, and um, and Ade was was brilliant again um, defensively. And it was good. Um, it was good for Ade to get a lot of the ball, especially second half, because it. He knows himself that that's an area that if he wants to go to where we think he can go to, that he needs to in, improve upon. And um, I thought some of his diagonal balls in particular today, I know he's been working so hard on them, um, were brilliant. Um, particularly second half, obviously it's easier for me to see second half because he's right in front of me, but they were bang on the money, a few of them. So um, yeah, credit to him. And we always like it when our defenders chip in with goals. So well done. And also the subs that really hungry and they come on Kai, I think was supposed to start when he come on. Tom Blackwell got himself a goal when he came on as well. Yeah, Kai was at trouble on the M11 coming from Cambridge, so he, he um, I think he got here about 20 past two, so we made the decision just to switch that because he would have started. And I think when he came on, he showed why he would have started. You know, his, his quality is top level, top level quality, it really is. And on a pitch like this, with the space that and the positions that he could have picked up against the opposition, no disrespect to them, but um, we knew that he would be, he would unlock them. Um, and he did time and time again. I think he ended up with three or four assists <laughs> in the time he was on. So yeah, it was, um, it was good to get him on, but obviously disappointed he couldn't start. Yeah, and um, the fourth qualifying round again for the second year in a row. So it's just about sort of, we learned the hard way at Harrow last year and, and trying to, sort of recover and sort of learn from what we did wrong last year and put it right this year. Yeah, I'll be honest, in my head, I want to put the Harrow one to bed. So we need to win. Getting that first round proper and then that Harrow one's forgotten about. So let's make sure we do that. And, and obviously the, the draw, the bigger teams come in now in the league above us. So the draw will be the draw, but let's get through. OK, well done today, Robbie. Got through that one really well done. And uh, speak to you next Saturday. Thank you, appreciate it.